there might be some spoilers here. See, I remember that time. Now, this movie came out in 2013. This was a TV original, so this was not in theaters. So I don't know what the budget on the film is, but, you know, obviously it doesn't have a box office. This movie is available to watch on Amazon Prime, Roku, Plex, Peacock, and Tubi. And it's free on all of them. There's commercials, but at least it's free. You can't beat that. Now, the cast, before I get into it, is so the main character is Ellen, played by Danica McKellar. Carter McIntyre plays the husband, Mike. Jonathan Bennett is Ben. Let's see. Jaleel White plays Detective Hamer. Fred Dreyer plays Detective Sanford. Alicia Logano is Paula Bates, Officer Paula Bates. And then you have quite a few others here. Suzanne Crawl, the late Suzanne Crawl, plays Marla. Jennifer Blanc as Ramona. Jennifer Aspen as Alice. And Dina Meyer as Kay. And then also Jim O'Hare as lawyer Ed. I forget Ed's last name already. But he was a defense attorney in this. So this is a psychological drama. It's a legal drama, a crime thriller, a little bit of a, a mystery and a suspense. So this movie is about a woman who answers her door to learn that she's been arrested for aggravated assault and attempted murder. Now, here's how Google breaks it down. And by the way, here's the ratings right quick, too. So the ratings are Internet Movie Database gave it a 51. Amazon gave it a 70. And Google users gave it an 82. For a movie like this, I think 82 is pretty good. That's pretty high right there. That's, like, that's basically an A-plus for something like this. Psychological drama about a suburban policeman's wife who was falsely accused of murder when a prostitute is beaten to death in a car park. As the evidence pointing to her guilt mounts, her friends and husband turn against her and even she begins to doubt her own innocence. Wow. Now here's how Amazon does the synopsis. Ellen Plainview, a caring working wife and mother answers the door and is arrested for attempted murder. It's a nightmare as the evidence stacks up against her. Her friends and policeman husband begin to doubt her innocence. Even she wonders if she somehow committed the horrific crime without remembering it, especially when it turns out that the victim was having an affair with her husband. Wow. Now, I've typed in the movie on ChatGPT. Here's how they break it down. Plot summary. Synopsis one more time. <laughs> the story centers around Ellen Plainview, a suburban wife and mother who leads an, an ordinary life until she finds herself at the center of a criminal investigation. She is wrongfully accused of attempting to murder a local district attorney, leading to her arrest and a fight to prove her innocence. So here's some key plot points. Normal life disrupted. Ellen's routine life has turned upside down when she is accused of a crime she didn't commit. Wrongful accusation. Evidence amounts. Evidence mounts against Ellen, making it look like she is guilty. Her fingerprints are found on the weapon used, to, used in the attempted murder, and she has no alibi. Legal battle. Her husband and her lawyer work tirelessly to uncover the truth and clear her name. The real culprit. Throughout the movie, Ellen tries to figure out who could be framing her and why. Climactic resolution. The story unfolds with twists and turns, keeping the audience guessing until the real perpetrator is revealed. Themes and elements include injustice, determination, suspense. The film explores themes of injustice and the nightmare of being falsely accused. Ellen's determination to prove her innocence highlights her strength and resilience. The movie maintains suspense as viewers are kept on edge wondering about Ellen's fate and the true identity of the culprit. Reception. This movie received mixed reviews with praise often directed at Danica McKellar's performance and the film's engaging storyline. However, some critics noted the movie follows a predictable formula typical of many TV thrillers. This breakdown provides an overview of the film's plot, themes, and reception offering insight into the key elements that make up the wrong woman. Now, overall, and I'll see if I can find a trailer that, you know, I can put in the comment section here. So overall, I, I think I feel I give this movie a good eight. Because while part of the ending might have been predictable, so when you look at like the last 10 to 12 minutes of it, there's part of it that is predictable, which 
namely I'm referring to the verdict. And there's a part of it that's a little unpredictable in the sense that, you know, once you get to the part about the, the revelation of the real perpetrator, the person who actually did the crime. So suspense, thriller, mystery, psychological drama, legal drama, crime thriller. You like that type of stuff, especially if I have a lot of people here who follow me because I talk about crime shows and crime thrillers like The Criminal Minds and the SVU and those type of shows. Well, this right here is a little bit of that. Of course, it's not as dark. It's not as twisted as those shows are. I mean, of course, granted, those are primetime TV shows. This is just one movie here. But if you like that type of stuff, I think this is the movie to watch for it. And I think they all did a great job. You know, congratulations to the cast. And apparently there's a sequel called Mommy, I Didn't Do It, which I'm just now learning about as well. So I'm going to watch that one soon, too, and then I'll give my take on that. But this movie right here, I think, gets an eight. So if you saw the movie, tell me what you think of it. If not, check out the trailer, if there is one, and you just give me your thoughts. Like and subscribe. I got more coming.